Alrighty. We're looking at replays. We're looking at Vanquish Soul Snake Eyes replays. Because I got too many of them. I got like, I've got 10 of them. I can't store anymore, so I gotta delete them. But I'm gonna record them first. Oh, that's new. I don't remember seeing that. We're gonna add Rosin to hand. Haven't revealed any Snake Eye cards yet. We do have a Wanted. So, normally you can go for Zhao Long here because uh, we can bring out Dia Bellstar. So I don't. I think bringing Mad Love might have been a mistake, but I wanted to try something different for this game and go for the draw. That was a pretty good draw too. Sometimes you don't need Razen or uh, Xiao Long because we already have Mad Love for the trap, right? I mean, it's kind of sacrilegious to not go straight for the Xiao Long, but honestly, sometimes Borger just draws Max C for you. Plus, having Mad Love on the field, if you can get an Earth next turn via Razen, could be a spin back, right? Like, if we opt for getting rid of the Borger here, we can use Mad Love to spin back if we get an Earth with Razen. Or if we get rid of the Mad Love, we can just go for a draw. I mean, uh, Borger is kind of like a... Um, what's that one card? It's kind of like Heat Soul, but, you know, you don't take 1k LP damage. Anyway, we're trashing the Flamberge. Because we're going to bring it back with the Field Spell anyway. I've been starting to try to experiment with Dust Devil over the Vanquish Soul Trap. Just because, honestly, sometimes I feel like Destruction doesn't hit some decks as hard as you'd like. Oh, I just drew into a Caesar. Okay, yeah, that's really useful there. Mascarina. This is just standard Snake Eye combo stuff. Yep, Promethean, Summon Flamberge, Rosin in the back row is pretty good. Realistically, Rosin in the back row adding Zhao Long is... Eh, I mean... You can add another card. I feel like adding Zhao Long on the second phase can be just as good sometimes. The important thing is to have a lot of Anquish on the field to... Flip as many monsters as you can, right? Okay, so one thing here. Um, I could have gone Ambla Whale instead of Heat Soul. I know that Raging Phoenix is out, but uh, Ambla Whale is still really good. Uh, because if you go for popping the Ambla Whale with Promethean Princess, you can actually bring back Rock of the Vanquisher, which is really nice. Um, because Rock of the Vanquisher, once you've used it, it can't really do much. You can't link with it, so it's kind of worthless, right? So after I use this effect, I usually discard it with Dia Bellstar. Uh, which means you don't have one, right? And you wouldn't be able to have one unless you discard another Vanquish Soul monster, which I don't know why we kept the Dia Bellstar here, to be honest. That was kind of a misplay on my part. We could have cooked way harder than we did. Um, I, I think it's because I forgot that Borger was going to be coming back to the hand. So what we should have done was probably sent away the Borger, and then if we summon Rock of the Vanquisher uh, via popping the Ambla Whale, then we can use Rock of the Vanquisher to um, summon the Mad Love that we could add with Razen. Hmm. Because I like, I like the spin back she has. Anyway, I'm yapping. Let's see here. This is just, I mean, I'm sorry, but this is just absurd that we can get this much advantage on a turn two on my enemy. I, I got more cards than they do, and we went first. <laughs> hey, Fekka. Okay, so Unicorn, I'm just going to Ash it. I could have Effect Veilered, but I'm assuming that they're on Snake Eyes. They're not, actually. So uh, I'm just going to Rosin Destroy. I don't want to destroy Unicorn, because I know Unicorn... If they have a um, birth, they can just bring it back. So I was like, let me destroy this guy. That's fine. Because uh, the, the little trick here is if they try to target 
we can just pop with Caesar. And we still have a flip. And if I had to choose a card to flip, I would rather flip this guy than this guy. Because I just feel like sending Unicorn to the grave is a bad idea usually. I don't know what that card does other than make them go minus one. But they got two level seven, so we're not gonna we're not gonna stand for that. <laughs> they got 10k LP, and it honestly doesn't even matter. I don't even remember how much defense uh, Unicorn has. 2.1k? Yeah, 2.1k. I swung with it with uh, Flambridge. I could have used Diabelle, but... <laughs> yeah, we could have cooked more there, but why bother? I don't even think they had... They had like one card in hand, I think. These two last replays I played like this morning at work, so... That's why they're still like fresh in my head. I actually haven't played Master Duel all this month. Okay, this is a... They went first, but like they weren't... Wait, what deck was this? Tier Lament? Oh wait, no, this this game sucked. Why did I why did I why did I go to this replay? <laughs> they discarded an ash. So I resolved a maxi and they scooped. <laughs> Bro, you showed me you got rid of your ash. I mean if they had a second ash, sure. I don't know what they had in their hand. Maybe they had a maxi. I don't know why they were so in love with uh the other cards in their hand that they discarded an ash but the mo oh you know what else i was holding right click so they probably thought i didn't have a maxi and they probably felt safe to discard that ash because i was holding right click so they're like all right we don't need ash where we're going <laughs> surprise roach all right hey galv thank you for the raid let me give you a shout out how did your second Omega Striker game go? What the hell? Wait. Did I? That's not. That's not you. What the hell? Because I follow you. I don't follow whoever the hell I just shouted out. Oh, there's two underscores. Man, you know what? Usually Snack Eye does the shout outs for me. <laughs> but they're like, they're asleep, I think. Well, I can still give you a shout out. Is that, is that two underscores? Gal. Anyway, I hope that Omega Strikers game went well. I will still shout you out. It's just gonna it's gonna take a minute. In fact, it's gonna take one minute and twenty six seconds. All right, on to the replays. Pretty good one, three oh yo. Very nice. I don't know if you fuck with Yu Gi Oh, but uh, I I dabble. I dabble. I may, I may have uh, topped a, a tournament here or there, you know. I might have a rescue rabbit coming in the mail soon. Okay, well this hand sucks. I mean, I don't have any Vanquish Soul monsters. I literally lose to like any disruption here, actually. Wait, why is this replay even saved? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's because I'm going to draw into a stake your soul, isn't it? Yep, yeah, I remember this game. This is like a few days ago. Pizza draw. I added Snake Eye Oak back to the hand with Sunlight Wolf, hoping I would draw into a Stake Your Soul, and we drew into a Stake Your Soul. How lucky was that? That's insane. Cause like, I already used my normal summon, 
So really, there was no, not only was there no point in adding Snake Eye Oak to the hand, it's literally an unoptimal play. Flamberish doesn't even have two monsters to send to the grave. If I trigger Mascarina, I'm getting cooked. So this is a, honestly just a garbage play. But I got Stake Your Soul, so like, uh, we ball. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Where there's a replay where I used Panthera. Hey Nume, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. That's how he was saved. I suppose Yeah, yeah, you know, you see a lucky moment and you go, damn, I gotta save that. But see, I I wanna save duels that actually show the power of this deck and why you might want to play it over like pure snake eyes. And to be fair, um I think both Pure Snake Eyes is better. What the fucking Gamma? Damn, I got Gamma. I do think Pure Snake Eyes with Hand Traps is better, because yada yada yada. Hand Traps are strong. You know how it is. But the thing is... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is going on? Huh? Uh, but uh, anyway. Oh, they were summoning Appaloosa to protect their... Ah, well... That's unfortunate, isn't it? The fucking Imperm. Damn. Wait, how did... How does... I feel like there's better options... Cyframe into Appaloosa? I feel like... Did they not have better options here? I mean, like, okay, okay. Hear me out, right? Nah, actually, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I feel like Little Knight would have been better, but maybe she wasn't added here. Okay, obviously they're going to negate both effects, but it's fine. I'm forcing them to negate both effects here. Bam! No more Appaloosa. I always add Oak here. What does this one do? Preventer? Defense down? That's fine. Linkerable. Rock of the Vanquisher? What the fuck am I cooking? Wait, what? Wait, why did I do that? What? Is, what? Wait, what am I? <laughs> huh? Oh, well, okay, Flamber is just, is, 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 uh, hmm. What? Nibiru. Yikes. Yikes. Sorry, I had to teach my sister what RAM requirements were. Ooh, that's nice of you. I just download more whenever I need more. <laughs> Wait, where was my Panthera duel? What the hell? I had a duel where I like special summon Panthera and they max seed me. Did my dumbass not save it? Was it No shot it was this one, right? Oh, I mean I can't even play that replay. Yeah, okay. Huh. Well, this one is the max C one. That's so weird. I had a game where I summoned Pantera. I guess I didn't save it. Oh well. Pantera's good, trust me. Trust, trust, trust. It's not a brick, trust. Uh replay. John Taylor. Maybe it's this one, and I'll just be eating my words. No, it's definitely not this one. Alright, we got Stake Your Soul, we got Mad Love, so... I don't know why I did this. I feel like uh, Stake Your Soul onto Borger is 
better here for the potential draw. Then again, I don't know. I guess I'm using... Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I understand. I understand. Because we have... So now we can use... I understand what we're doing. We are holding Stake Your Soul until the end of our combo where we will use Sunlight Wolf to add a fire back to hand, which allows us to resolve the Stake Your Soul. Right? That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So this is standard Snake Eyes combos. We're going into Promethean. We're summoning Flamberge. We're going into, not Ambla Whale, but Sunlight Wolf. Summon the Linkoribo to bring back you to the hand. And now we have, I mean, okay, yeah. We also get a draw. Triple Tactics is uh, worthless here, but that's okay. Now we have uh, Rosin. And then Rosin can return back to hand, giving us a draw. Okay, okay. And oh my god, what a draw. Wait, what the fuck? That was nasty as hell. What the fuck? Okay, I think I just outplayed myself. I was sitting here going like, duh, stake your soul for burger draw? I don't know, shrug. But actually, hold on, I was fucking cooking. This is way, this is way better. Man, <laughs> this deck's too complicated for me sometimes. Oh, what are those, what are these draws, man? I mean, this one's dead because we can't set it, but what the fuck? Okay, it's... Oh my god, and it's tier limit, so I'm kind of glad. Why? Oh, okay, okay. I was kind of confused. This is a fat Appaloosa, but... You know what? It's fine. Yeah, we have the Vanquish Soul Trap. We don't have... Hold on. That was... Was that not shitty? Did I not have two level ones? No, right? Where is... Why didn't I trigger the summon? Oh, you know what? I misclicked. Mascarina is one material. Two, three, four. Where is the Snake Eyes Flamberish proc? I... Didn't activate it because they used Keldo. But I didn't negate it because... Wait, no, I did negate it. All right. Huh? Wait, I'm con I'm so confused right now. Hold up. Activate. Snake Eye Flamberge. They activate Keldo to return these cards. Appaloosa negate. Oh, they activated the Medora they normal summoned. Okay, 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 okay. They just did a double banish, and she cannot chain twice. So, the okay, okay, okay. That's why they stopped Flamberge. Honestly, even when... Even when Stake Your Soul... I'm sorry, not Stake Your Soul. Even when the Vanquish Soul Trap cannot resolve to destroy the whole field, it can still resolve to special summon Razen to pop a card. And then, you know, it's it's just, it's so strong. Razen can add another Borger, get another draw. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting through these. Maybe I'll play an Omega Strikers game after this. Maybe, maybe, no promises. Discarding Nibiru, what a mad lad. Okay, setting sinful spoils. And we affect failure that. No more adding. <gasps> Was there a better effect failure target here? Knowing they had sinful spoils? Genuinely, I don't know. It's not like we can affect Valor 
Maybe affect Veiling Flamberge? I mean, I don't know. They're gonna go into Promethean Princess and resummon Flamber. Actually, no, they're not gonna do that. I think if I recall, they are opting to just this. I'm sorry, this seems very weak. I feel like they had a better. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe they didn't have a better line. This hand is cracked though. Like well, triple attack. Triple attack goes so hard into this matchup. Like what, Appaloosa? Yeah, okay, very nice, very nice. Thank you for the Appaloosa. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that Appaloosa. Oh, immediate conceit. Doesn't even want to see it through. I mean, you, you were going to play with an Appaloosa. Why can't I play with an Appaloosa? I don't understand. Honestly, I like triple tactics. I know it does a lot, but I feel like it's more of a fair card than, say, Super Poly. Super Poly is just busted. You can you can play around a triple tactics. You can respond to a triple tactics. You cannot do any of that to a Super Poly. I mean, what? Just build a worse board on the off chance that they're playing Super Poly? What if they don't even draw it? All right, thanks to our Snake Eye cards, we do have an additional fire. I'm assuming we're going into a trap here, Vanquished Soul Trap. No, we're going into Mad Love. Oh, because we haven't normal summoned yet. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Having the Dark on the field is kind of nice. Having the extra body is kind of nice. We do have an Earth, so if Razen is normal summoned and adds an Earth, we can spin it back. Unless we... You know, sometimes I feel like... I get greedy with the Maxi. I mean, we are going to get another card here, but like... And, and Maxi does exert a lot of pressure, but I think sometimes it's better to keep Mad Love. Like, okay, 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 right? So, she has 2k defense. If I kept Maxi in hand, special summon Razen into this column right here, add a dark... We have an Earth and a Dark and two Fires. We have an Imperm. We can spin back the Diabelle. What are they going to Sinful Spoils if they don't have a Diabelle, right? I feel like that could have been optimal uh, because then they have to commit a Normal Summon. And then once they commit a Normal Summon, we Imperm, right? I think that's just way better. Okay, so we're adding the Border. Oh, we're actually destroying... Okay, this is also... Honestly, that's... that's Yeah, that's fair. And But we could... I, I still think if we held the Maxi, right? Like, what did we need this triple tactics for? If we held the Maxi, we could spin Snake Eye Ash back. And then all they have is a pop bar. Red Reboot. Never mind. Who is running Red Reboot? What? Set another Imperm? Okay, okay. Huh? We're gonna add an Earth? And now- Oh, wait! We can still spin! Damn! Okay. You know, sometimes things just work out. I still think holding Maxi was a better option, but they did have a negate for our trap. Uh, I'm not going to say that Red Reboot is a good good uh, reason for running the spell over the trap. I run both right now, but that's just because I think the Book of Moon effect is really strong. Okay, so a lot of the time, I think Stake Your Soul for Zhao Long is stronger than Stake Your Soul for Razen. The reason being that uh, staking your soul for Zhao Long sometimes gives you more options. For example, Razen here cannot add a stake your soul 
uh, spell or trap to your hand. He could only search another monster. So if you commit Razen as a normal summon, uh, you're kind of limited in your board breaking potential going into the next turn. But if we special summon Zhao Long, we can just straight up add a trap just with Zhao Long alone. Or we can add a Mad Love and then Mad Love brings the trap and then next turn add Borger, Borger take back the mad love and now borger gets a draw and then you just pray that you draw into an earth or if you're a freak you can go into stake your soul anyway we have an ash so that doesn't matter but i still think that zhao long uh from the stake your soul is oftentimes better they're gonna negate our draw too that's okay we're just punished for our greed and we get a effect veilard okay and let me guess, they have another negate. That's right, they got another negate. Ladies and gentlemen, a second effect Veiler has hit the, uh... Has hit the grave. A second effect Veiler has hit the grave. And they- oh, oh my god, I remember this game. Oh, jeez. Okay, so of all the hand traps they could have had, between double Veiler, Ash, and Maxi, guess what their top deck was? Their top deck was Snake Eye Ash, and they had a Wanted in hand. I was like, surely, surely if I imperm the Snake Eye Ash, they don't have anything, right? Nope. They had a... Oh, it was a Original Sinful. I mean, that also works. Yeah, because the Wanted wouldn't have been able to do too much. Well, no, that's not true. It would have done everything they needed. Hello, 90J. I feel like this was bad. So like, okay, okay, hear me out. Why didn't they just go Ambla Whale pass? They revived the Flamberge. I guess Flamberge is a good recursion, but like, Flamberge is not scary by itself. You don't have your field spell. Flamberge, revive Oak to revive, I mean, their plan is to just put bodies on the on the field, but they have zero disruption. Besides, uh, I guess, Promethean popping? Yeah, I don't know. It feels like Ambla Whale might have been better. I'm not sure. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. They play Snake Eyes. They know how much power, how much punch is behind that bonfire. So that's that's fair. Going first, we have a wanted, we have a mad love. I disagree with the well, I kind of disagree with the normal summon ash. Uh, I think think maybe I was trying to I mean because now that I normal summoned Snake Eye Ash I can't go into Mad Love right I think we just shotgun the Mad Love hello how are you doing I'm doing great thank you for asking and thank you for the follow I think normal summoning Mad Love here is better so okay one problem is that I only run one Ash so I want to discard Jet Synchron with the Diabelle. But if I discard Jet Synchron, how am I summoning... I mean, it's it's like a waste, right? To summon Ash with the Sinful Spoils. But if we normal summon Mad Love, add a trap or spell, we can Diabelle Star, discard not the Ash, but the Jet Synchron. Jet Synchron, discard the Snake Eye Ash. Now we have Snake Eye Ash in the grave. And then we can Sinful Spoils to then summon a oak, an oak, which would then bring back the ash, which would bring back a poplar. So I think that was actually the best play. I'm only not a fan of normal summoning snake eye ash because, I mean, you want to put out your vanquished soul cards out first. They are way less vulnerable to disruption. 
it looks like I'm going for standard Snake Eye plays here. I mean, this is this is not going to be anything interesting, unfortunately. I do still think normal summoning Mad Love there was optimal. I got a replay to show you. I'm so sorry, TPO. Uh, I don't have a replay redeem, but I don't actually replay uh, Chatter's replays. Um, so I, I do apologize for that. Oh, we drew into a Stake Your Soul, so we get to go for a Border here. That was a very early Nibiru, actually. I'm actually just going through... I, I had a bunch of replays, and I'm just trying to get them out of the way really quickly. Uh, because I really like Vanquish Soul, and I just wanted to showcase how it can go with the Snake Eye engine. I think it's a very durable deck that plays uh, decently into Graveyard Hate, though I have not been seeing a lot of Graveyard Hate. I haven't seen very many D shifters or anything like that. Wow, that's crazy. It almost looks like we didn't even get Nibiru, to be honest with you. That's actually insane. The maxi here is honestly fine. While the maxi here is fine, I think that... I, I just get greedy and I shotgun maxi every time that I see like a Diabelle because I, I want the draws, I want the draws. But like, uh, and, and again, maxi does apply a lot of pressure, but if I keep maxi in hand, Rosin summon into a border... And then, uh, if I add Borger, wait, what the hell? How am I getting an Earth? Yeah, oh, because I would have had the Max Seed, the doy. So yeah, I could have kept Max C, Special Rosin, and then, yeah, I mean, I didn't have to use Max C. I could at least resolve the trap and then use Max C. Oh, but we're lucky, so we just drew into another Max C, so it didn't matter. We're leaving this column open. This is Razen's column. Battle phase. Oh, they just... Okay. Well, we had a Karibo, so they were not going to be battling into Appaloosa there. I'm usually in bed like two hours ago. Going first. Double Zhao Long. Maxi! Oh, the cold by. Thank you, Mr. Finger. I only run one of these. I should run two, honestly. Adding Borger. I mean, we get to cook for free now, so this is going to be a dumb board. We're going to add Mad Love. Yup. Mad Love, draw one. Link off the Zhao Long because they were summoned through Stake Your Soul. Summon Mad Love. Mad Love at the trap. Bonfire. We have not normal summoned? We have not normal summoned. That's insane. Okay. Poplar add the field spell. Field spell put oak in the back row. Summon Flamberge. Mascarina. Summon one. Okay. Um, minor misplay here, but sometimes it's just not worth keeping Rock of the Vanquisher on the field. I could have had an additional body because Snake Eye Oak could have revived, but that's okay. Robin? <laughs> okay, I, I I was just testing this card because she spins back. But uh, I don't think that's... I mean, it's, it's okay. A spin is okay. There's no point in spinning a Fenrir, so... Adding Caesar... Interesting. Oh, well, there's no point in spinning the Shiren. But we can spin the Kid Kalos. And we will. Ooh. Well, 
what the fuck is going on with this chain link right now? What the... Okay, okay, okay. Excision Knight was gonna wipe the entire field. I thought they were gonna go into a Timeless. Uh, or not Timeless, I'm sorry. Time Thief. I thought they were gonna go into a Time Thief Redoer. But because all they would be doing there is going into a Kit Kalos, it makes sense. They would have gone into an Excision, uh, Evil Swarm, Excision Knight. Um, this destroys every single card. So we had to use the trap there to at least protect our Vanquish Soul cards. They did summon a... Or rather, they used Medora's effect there? Or no, that was Keldo. Yeah. I mean, if they're just ending on Soliac, that's not too strong. I feel like at that point, we just like... Yeah, we just battle into their... There's the Soliac. Sending both. Do they activate both? Yes, they do. We're going to negate one of them. They're going to end on probably a... Just a regular Kid Kalos. I guess we could have cooked harder. But honestly, I thought they would surrender. <laughs> Their mills are garbage. Putting you in the back row. Okay, we're still good. Though, I must have been running low on time because... We could have just put a Rock of the Vanquisher out. There's no reason to not have a Rock of the Vanquisher there. Like, Rosin on field by himself does nothing. You really want to put a Rock of the Vanquisher out and just summon another Rosin. Weird duel. Eight turns? Nah, okay, we, we, can, we can save that one for last. Like, no replay? I'm out of here. What is this? Rescue Ace? Rescue Ace. Maxi revealed. And they're like, nope, I'm out. They maxied us. Nah. Cross out instead of the Ash. I think we could have Ashed. Dang, they had a cold bite. Okay, you know what? It was a good thing we used, uh... Well, I guess it didn't matter either way. Adding Diabel to hand. <laughs> I just love... Cracking at their board with Vanquish Soul cards only to reveal that we also have a Snake Eyes engine in our deck. That is actually... I can't imagine how the opponent feels to deal with a Vanquish Soul board and then just have Snake Eye extenders coming your way. It is kind of crazy. Oh man, look at this dude. You thought? Ew, this hand is icky. Oh, they're going first. Eh, never mind. This is fine, actually. Wait, this is a great going second hand. Kind of. Kind of. Okay, never mind. It's awful. This hand sucks. Wait, this is an eight turn duel. What the heck?
Homie is getting curry card. Zodiac? 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 Ew, it's a floodgate. Rosin. Imperm. Rock of the Vanquisher. Add Rosin. Banish. Kurikara. Battle. Destroy. Oh. That was a bad maxi. We could have waited. Solemn, 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 solemn. They didn't even special summon. We could have just held. Razen. <laughs> no, it's fucked up. Let me cook. I can be trusted with normal summon Razen. Why are we holding, uh... What are we holding the called by for? Zeus! No Zeus? Double Dryden? What? Oh, there it is. Okay. I expected that. Alright. Okay, this is actually not that bad. Destroy all their monster. What? Wait. Wait a minute. Activate to destroy. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like this was... Okay, well, if Dryden targeted, they would have just... I would have used Borger. So Dryden target wasn't good enough. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they had to use... Uh... I mean, I was going to destroy their Zeus. They had to Zeus. They know we're on... Wait, what? Oh, okay, wow. We didn't want to commit... Because if I summon Diabelle, right? If I summon Diabelle, I'm going minus one to put a Sinful Spoils, but then he just gets rid of it, and I don't get to activate Sinful Spoils, right? I mean, I can get a draw one off of Wanted, but how good is that? We could... Yeah, no, because even if we, like... Let's say we, we bring this spell, the uh, Subversion of Sinful Spoils, they can still just wipe the field again, so... Drawing another card. Drawing into a Rosin. Not bad. They're going to regret leaving that Zhao Long up. Because now we have Caesar. Turn 8. It's finally time. Mad love. Yep, they gotta wipe the field here. It's over. It is so over. Yeah, the Ash is fine. We have Diabelle. Only thing that stops us here is Nibiru, but like barely, right? Nasty, that's nasty. Okay, you know what? That was worth it. Kurikara back to hand. Kurikara back to hand. That's pretty good. Damn. Okay. Well, that was uh, 40 minutes or so of uh, Snake Eyes Vanquish Soul. We're gonna climb back to Master 1 at some point. I don't know. We hit Master 1, I think, the last three months. Uh, let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it, data? Jubaka, Buddha, 
Yeah, see, one, two, three. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> 